Let's bring in Father Val Rodriguez. He is the new Catholic uh, school superintendent. He joins us in Zoom this morning. Hey, Father Val, how are you doing? Uh, hi, Patsy. Oh, my I've gosh. Been you for a while. I know. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I, I was like, I know I have his phone number somewhere. So I, I went to my contact <laughs> list and, on, and it, was a WhatsApp pic, it was a WhatsApp picture of me. I'm like, Oh, this guy looks really, really old. I know that's not Father Val. <laughs> so apparently I had the wrong I, number. But it's good to see I you. I did not expect that we will be, I did not expect that we I know. will be seeing each other. The next time we see each other, we'll be in your show. <laughs> yeah, I know. Usually Father Val is a very close family friend of ours, and I see him at pretty much all of the family gatherings. So we've never talked shop yeah. before. We never talked shop before, so I'm glad... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we have a, an opportunity to talk about this new uh, adventure of yours. Uh, oh, my God. How is it? I really need a lot of prayers for this new <laughs> work I have to do. Yeah. How, how, well, you've been on the job a couple of days now. What, uh, how, how, what's the experience like? Well, you know how it is to be on your first day of work, right? Mm. Especially that. You know, I've been here before, remember, when 2009 to 2013, I was at St. Thomas uh, Aquinas Catholic High School, remember? Yes, I do. So, so at least I, have, I have an experience of the educational system, Catholic educational system here on Guam, but I have been away for how many years? Mm -hmm. uh, I've been giving talks to some of our faculties in different uh, different. Uh, couple of uh, our schools here on Guam but you know practically I'm like out of the system and all of a sudden I'm thrown into it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but well. it's such an honor, it's such an honor. Uh, I, I thank the Archbishop and and the committee for giving me the trust and confidence of being the new superintendent and so what was uh, my first day look like so I entered the office of course and the first thing you do is ask people in your office how does the, the day of the superintendent look like try to talk to them converse with them i had actually like four meetings that day mm. wow yeah <laughs> my day wow. ended past six that evening and then yesterday i had three meetings so as of now patsy what i'm doing is really trying to acquaint myself with the office of the superintendent that's all i can do get some literatures that i have to read in order to be informed of what is the functions the roles of uh, of course the superintendent and uh, you know things that i should learn in the office then from there I, i'll take it from there yeah there, a lot so of the schools of course a lot of the schools they have boards they have ptos they have you know good principals and the schools uh, operationally can run themselves in that way they are yeah. you know they're everything has already been sort of laid out and they just uh, kind of operationally it's okay i'm wondering though you are you know we are in the still in this pandemic and there is a lot of federal funding that is also made available to the Catholic schools. Um, do, do you know whether or not we have taken full advantage of the, the share of the, of the Catholic schools on Guam uh, for those public funds? You, you know, that's one of the first things I looked into on the very first day of my office because everybody's asking me about that and from different of course uh, sectors of the community especially even the schools themselves because we want to really maximize whatever we can because we really need all the kind of help that we need in this time of pandemic you can just imagine how difficult the learning process now is compared to the usual we had before the pandemic so all i have right now actually is i ask uh, rossi kitubo who doesn't good work in our office i asked her can you give me like literatures regarding this uh <laughs> this federal grants mm. we received because of this so yeah but what we got as the esf1 esf2 and then we have the arp also so i got those reading materials but my days are full of meetings i have not even started reading them but yeah yeah that's one of the main concerns in the office right now because as you have mentioned our schools I mean, with our administrators, they're running their business really well. I mean, I would like to thank our administrators for that. So 
when I was asked, uh, so what do you think will be your role? I mean, my role as a superintendent really is for me, first and foremost, to assist our school communities, to assist our administrators in the way, the best way we can. So that yeah. I will have to learn along the way. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Um we'll 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 give you some time to get acclimated and back in the in the saddle i did want to just you know take the time to you know welcome you back to the to the schools and then sort of to ask the question about monitoring uh, federal funds just so that that we know that uh the school system is you know maximizing you know all of the available funds that are been spread out among all of the schools on guam and i'm i'm glad that uh that you've you're on top of that yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. I think we have, because everybody's asking about that. And really, my concern there is really how to maximize the use of it. And yeah. I think that's also the concern of our school administrators. So yeah. we'll do our best. Okay. Pray for us. Absolutely. I sure will. I, w I sure will. Father Val, it's always good to talk to you, but it's all better to see you in person. I hope that hope happens sooner than later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hopefully soon, right? All right. Well, take good. I miss you. I miss everyone. Yeah, we miss you too. <laughs> we miss you too. Take take good care of you. Stay, stay safe and, and don't get COVID, okay? It's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> you too. All right. God bless you. God bless God you. Bless you. Father Val Rodriguez, he's also the parish priest at the Immaculate Heart of Mary Church in Totu, and now the new Catholic schools superintendent.